Okay, so if you watched my channel before, you know that I love my Xbox, but recently I have been putting that to the side and I have only been playing my Oculus Quest 2 because the games that have come out for this device, not only are the graphics fantastic, but the physics, everything about the new games coming out for this device is crazy, it's insane, and I highly recommend you get one. I told you all a year ago, get a MetaQuest 2, and since then, they rose the price, they have came out with a whole bunch of games for it, and I'm still sticking by it. This right here is one of the coolest pieces of technology that you can get in 2022, so stay tuned, because in this video, I'm gonna be talking about why you should get a MetaQuest 2 in 2022. So let's get right into it. If you do like gaming and you're tired of playing the same old 2D games, being inside the MetaQuest 2 is just something completely different, especially with the new titles that are coming out for this device. So when it comes to the new titles, at least the ones that I have been playing nonstop on this device is NFL Pro Era. Now, when it comes to NFL Pro Era on the MetaQuest 2, this is absolutely one of my favorite games. I'm a huge football fan. I play Madden all the time, but recently, Madden really hasn't been that good. So if you love football or if you love sports, I highly recommend this game because the fact that the physics, whenever you pass the ball, whether it's a lob pass, whether it's a bullet, they are definitely on point. The graphics are pretty cool. And the fact that you are actually behind everything, like behind the scenes, even when the defense is on the ground, you're on the sidelines with the clipboard, watching your team do what you gotta do. It definitely feels like you're in the game. Like there have been times where I'm talking to my players like, God, go. Like obviously they're a computer and they can't hear me. But look, NFL Pro Era is one of my favorite games on the MetaQuest 2. And if you love sports, I highly recommend it, especially if you're a big football fan. Like I said, you could do a my player build. You get to pick your team. And whenever you pick your team, like for instance, I picked the Cowboys, their schedule is literally the same schedule as the season goes right now. And whenever you beat a team, you get trophies, you even get like game balls for that team. So it's really cool. They make the players really crazy too. For instance, I did play on the Bills and every time I would pass it to Stephon Diggs, that man is just a beast and he would catch it every time. But if I pass it to like Devin Singletary, I mean, he wouldn't do much with it. No offense, Devin, just saying. Now, the next game I do want to talk about when it comes to the MetaQuest 2 is going to be Bone Labs. Now, that one literally just released pretty much the same time NFL Pro Era came out. And I haven't played it too, too much, but the physics of that game are crazy. The graphics of that game are crazy. Everything about that game is very realistic and it's just insane. Your movements from like when shooting, it's crazy. However, from time to time, you're probably gonna have to climb up ladders, jump around, do a whole bunch of crazy stuff. And if your stomach is a little bit weaker like mine, then you may get motion sickness. Now, I usually don't get motion sickness with most of the games I play. However, with this one, it's just a little different. I feel like I'm I'm going a little too hard in the pain, I guess. I don't know what it is, but I feel like after a few more weeks of me playing it, I should be okay, at least I'm hoping. But that game is definitely crazy and definitely something that I highly recommend too. So those are two of my favorite games right now. I have played other games such as Walkabout Mini Golf, which is great. Walking Dead of Saints and Sinners, that game is, oh, that game's amazing. And then, you know, I played Facebook Horizons. That's more of like a social VR experiment type thing. And you know, I'm not, I, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of those. Like they're good. I have a video of me and Horizon Worlds. If you want to see it, click it right there. But that's just not my thing. If you like going out and being social, definitely look at that. Look at VR chat, rec room, things like that on this device are insane. But you know, you could also do meditation, things like that too. I have a whole review over this device. But my main thing is, you need to get this console because one, they rose the price since last year by $100, which just shows how great it's doing and what it's going to be capable of doing. The new Quest that they just released obviously does a lot more. It's more of like augmented reality, so sort of like a mixed reality situation, whereas this one, you're only pretty much in the headset the whole time. That one's 1300 
This one you could get for $3.99. Now that I've been playing it so much, I realize I kind of need more accessories. So I want to get the portable battery that kind of just head hangs around here. Kind of also want to get a new head strap, but I want some better grips because when I'm playing the game and I hike the ball, my hand is just like gripping the hell out of this controller. And I feel like I'm gonna break it sometimes. Not because I feel like I'm gonna like smash it or something, because whenever you just like move this part, it shows the battery. Cowboys Nation, baby, that's what's up. Comment, like if you're a Cowboys fan. That I feel like this plastic part's gonna come off, exposing the battery. And that is something I don't want, which is why if you are gonna play like NFL, or I mean, even Bone Labs too, definitely get some grips for the controller. Um, especially if you're gonna be on it for long periods of time, that battery for this uh, headset is gonna be fantastic. So I highly recommend those two things as well, no matter what you're playing. For me, I realized that, wow, I kind of need those accessories because I don't want my thing breaking after a while of me just going super hard in the paint. And trust me, I have hit my controller on the wall plenty of times passing the ball because whenever I hike it, I run back and then I pat, I'm, I'm just going crazy and then, um, these are pretty solid. They're gonna hold up really well, but with a grip or some sort of protection on this, I highly recommend it. And I'm probably gonna get some. So stay tuned because I'll let you know what accessories I get for my Oculus Quest 2 and uh, what I think you should get too. Now, not only can you play games on this, you can watch documentaries, you could like go to concerts. There are so many crazy things that you can do with this device. And I highly recommend you get it especially if you want a new console or something for Christmas, this is the way to go if you already have like an Xbox or a PlayStation. Try this, especially if you're getting bored with console gaming, this is going to change your view on games and the games that they are going to continue to make, the graphics are just gonna be as good as the ones that I mentioned, the physics are gonna be crazy. Everything about VR is now starting to kind of level up and we are seeing what it's going to be and it is insane. So I would say get into it right now while it's cheap, while you still can and be one of the first to master VR before everybody gets into it so you don't have to catch up. So that is it for the video. If you have any questions or comments, just let me know down below in the comments or even if you played some games that you love that I didn't mention in this video, let me know down below. Let me know what your favorite game is and why. I will definitely try and download it and check it out too because I'm gonna be on this thing for a while. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Peace.